Hello, Wisconsin. I'm Lee Zeldin from New York. A nation led by President Trump is a nation stronger, safer, and more secure. As a former 82nd Airborne paratrooper, I want a military focused on being the world's greatest fighting force, not its biggest social experiment. We need a president treating our friends as friends and our adversaries as our adversaries, understanding they only respect strength, not weakness. I was on the House Foreign Affairs Committee under three presidents, but only one ended wars without starting new ones. President Donald Trump. As one of two Jewish Republicans in Congress, it was amazing to witness history-making progress, strengthening the U.S.-Israel relationship under President Trump moving our embassy in Israel to Jerusalem, <laughs> recognizing Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, and launching the Abraham Accords, which no one said was possible. <laughs> Soleimani and the ISIS Caliphate were eliminated. President Trump withdrew from the Iran deal, stopped those insane ransom payments, and crippled Iran with maximum pressure. But then, everything went downhill under Biden. Yes, the, the guy who advised Obama not to take out Osama? Joe Biden advised against the mission that killed Osama bin Laden. As an American, and especially as a New Yorker, that's unforgivable. Even in his prime, he had bad judgment. And it's only gotten worse with age. We cannot count on Biden to make this kind of crucial 3 a.m. decision. Heck, we can't rely on him at 3 in the afternoon. He has refilled. Iran's coffers. Since October 7th, Biden has pandered to anti-Semites who cheer Hamas's attack. All while Americans are still being held hostage in Gaza. Biden turned 13 Blue Star families into Gold Star families with his fatal withdrawal from Afghanistan, and then he lied about it during last month's debate, claiming that no service members had died under his watch. We must elect President Trump. Whether building an Iron Dome defense shield at home, countering China and other bad actors abroad, or securing our borders. He will make America strong and respected again. President Trump risks everything for us. Yeah. 
We need him back in the White House now more than ever before. To make America great again, we must first, and God willing, we will expand the Republican majority in the United States House of Representatives. We will flip the United States Senate. We are going to elect J.D. Vance our next vice president. And we will make Donald J. Trump the 47th president of these United States. Thank you. God bless you. God bless President Trump and his family. And God bless America.